I'm a sprinter, specialized in the 100 meters and 200 meters, also in the 4x100 meter relay with the French team. I have been practicing this sport since 2005, and I started at the age of 15. Triple European champion in 2010, world medal in 2011 on 200 meters, European champion in 2012, Olympic medal on 4x100, also in 2012, Olympic medal in Rio in 2016 on 200 meters. So, the training days are, they're all different from each other. But to talk about the daily routine, really, in general, in the morning, I either do physiotherapy with my staff, and then I train in the afternoon, or sometimes I stretch in the morning, and then, well, like I said, I train. And it depends on the day. Sometimes it's a sprint session, sometimes it's aerobic strength training, sometimes it's long sprints or general preparation. So, depending on the day you choose, something different. Since I'm a high-level professional athlete with his planning, I have access to my dedicated facilities. I have access to the track, to the weight room, so I can train normally. It wasn't like that in the first lockdown, where, well, we weren't allowed to do anything. So we had to adapt a lot in order to not lose too much, to keep at least the body shape and the physical condition in order to be able to hope to have a sports season after the summer which was coming. But, but now I train normally and I don't have any more problems to be able to prepare for the Olympic Games that are coming. It's true that it's a goal that, that's been there for a few years now. After coming back from the Games, the Games, the Rio 2016 Games, I have the goal to repeat the success, to get back on the podium, and we train for that, to reach peak form at the right time, which is at the time of the Games. So we are going through the different phases. Of course, through many competitions, we try to qualify by matching the criteria of the French Federation and, and then, well, to be ready for the event. Then mentally. Since 2016, I also work with a sports psychologist to help me also prepare from that point of view, to be able to optimize performance. It's a bit sad, of course, because every time I took part in a championship, whether it was the European Championships, the Olympic Games, or the World Championships, there were always some French spectators. It's sad not to have French spectators traveling to support the French team. It's a bit sad, and then, well, we'll see what happens. But it won't be the same atmosphere. We will always have the impression that something is missing, that's for sure. We as French will miss everything, that support, you know, in the, in the stands to encourage us. But after all, we will prepare under these conditions. We will face and do our best to bring back as many medals as possible and to bring back the medals to the French people who couldn't make the trip. So I come, I do three sessions a week, and mostly in the morning to recover from the previous day's session and to prepare for the session that comes in the afternoon. I think it's an indispensable part for the high-level athlete and the very high-level athlete. And it's something that we really need, and it's almost an integral part of the athlete's preparation, to go for the performance and to expect that kind of goal in the big championships. I've been using Indiba equipment for about three years to help me recover and also to optimize the healing process after an injury. We use Indiba almost all the time, as I said. When I don't have an injury, I use it for recovery, to optimize the recovery session, and then also with an injury. It helps optimize circulation and injury healing. So I, I use it almost every time I come to the physiotherapist. I got to know it with the French athletics team during the training courses, and it's true that it's a device that was very useful to me during the training course, and that I didn't know about at the beginning, but it was enormously useful. And that's why I wanted a physiotherapy device, and and such a device because I knew what it would bring me and it's a real advantage in my recovery in the in my work with the physiotherapist 
And that's why today Indiba is, is a product that represents a real advantage and that perhaps at the moment, to my knowledge, is one of the best, one of the best devices for athletes. Yes, that. I had a few little falls. That's where it took me a while to get out of that injury, and I... And it was faster than I could have imagined. For me, Indiba really allows you to lose less time due to an injury on your training schedule. I think it took a few weeks, not more, to be able to get back on the program and start sprinting. For me, the benefits of Indiba for top-level athletes are, first of all, optimizing recovery, optimizing injury healing, and of course, it really helps the fibers to regenerate more, more quickly, and above all, more effectively to really avoid recurrence of injury. But it's also something that's really nice when you use Indiba. It's something that's really nice to feel and really allows you to be more relaxed and feel it. I've done several training programs, so already I got out of school by doing an internship at INSEP in Paris, which allowed me to discover the world of high-level sport. And then I went on to train in sports physiotherapy, then in specific runner's care, which allows me today to take care of several athletes, but also to have patients, let's say, more of the everyday, who come mainly for active rehabilitation. So we treat a lot of track and field athletes. We also have runners, trainers, rowers, rugby players, footballers. We have a wide variety of sports with many clubs in town, which allows us to have athletes from different disciplines. In general, tendinopathies are the most common, and then muscle injuries, whether they are tears or contractures, depending on the stage they are at in their sporting journey. Our job as physiotherapists is simply to put athletes in the best conditions for performance, whatever their discipline. And for me, physiotherapy is an advantage over what we can offer with our own hands to be able to put them in those conditions and especially at the time when they need it most. So yes, it allows us to increase the athlete's performance. I started using it thanks to Christophe Lemaitre and the partnership with SPIE Global Consulting which allowed us to test this little gem, which I can't do without today. We're already using it on a very diverse panel of patients, both athletes and those with rheumatic diseases, particularly for the speed of improvement in symptoms, whether it be pain reduction or acceleration of healing, when there are injuries, fractures or pathologies of this type. What's interesting with the different athletes we see is that they often have very different treatment paths. They are treated by therapists, both in training, but also in their place of study or in the place of competition. And so they try many different treatment practices. And I see that when they come to the clinic, if we use Indiba therapy, they ask me for this specific therapy because they find it very comfortable. And according to them, compared to everything they see, they find it much more efficient than other machines they have tried. So of those who come, the vast majority ask me to do Indiba Tekar therapy. In a daily training period, we will treat rather small areas of injury, meaning that the athlete comes in, 
tells us how the week went or the day before or the last few training sessions and according to his or her sensations we will target certain areas which he or she feels a bit fatigued to get back ready for training and then we will have a much more targeted practice. In general, during the competition period, on the other hand, the athlete is in good physical condition, everything is going well overall. So we will be much more global in his care, with care that will allow him to still compete with a level of performance that will be maintained at the highest level in the long term. I use it almost every session. It depends on the period. I mean, as I was saying, at the beginning of the session, we dialogue with him on how he felt, on what he thinks he needs for that session. If he's injured, if it's really acute, we'll use more treatment to speed up the healing, to increase the circulation at a vascular level, so that he can heal as quickly as possible. Then, when we're in the recovery phases, we'll use more the heat part, together with much more global manoeuvres. So, it really depends on the sessions and the demand that you have in relation to that. Regarding Christophe in particular, well, as the years go by, injuries become more and more frequent. It's the fate of all top-level athletes. The body starts to get a bit tired from all the training, and so we're here to help him stay at his best, despite the injuries he may have suffered. For me, physiotherapy allows me to speed up his recovery when he's just injured. For example, it's essential that he doesn't lose too much muscle capacity. So the fact that the pain is reduced quickly allows him to get active again very quickly. So the recovery will be better and he can start training again much sooner, which he needs. Well, what I have been able to compare is not so much for sportsmen, because it's true that for a sportsman, it's always difficult to compare what it would be like if you hadn't done anything, compared to what it's like having done it. There are people who heal faster, others a bit slower, so it's difficult to have something concrete. But with respect to everything rheumatic, for example, I find that patients really experience the effectiveness from the first or second session within Deba therapy, compared to sessions where we don't use the machine. So let's say that the analgesic effect is remarkable, and with just physiotherapy sessions, it would come a bit later. So it really allows me to reduce the number of sessions we do, because then, in one or two sessions, people realise the difference and the effectiveness it can have on their pain. Hi, I'm Megan Kripchen. I am a marathon runner. I'm a 232 marathoner, 69.51 and a half. I'm a three-time Olympic trials marathon qualifier. Um, and the highest place finish was seventh at the 2016 Olympic trials. So the daily routine, it, it changes given on what day it is. Is it a recovery day? Is it a workout day? But what, regardless of a hard day or easy day, I like to get a little bit of a stretch in just to get the body ready to go. And then if it's a workout, I'm going to do somewhere between like a 20 minute warm up, which is two to three miles, two and a half, three miles, and then do a lot of drills and stretches and then a bunch of strides to get ready for some fast speed work. On a, on a regular day, just stretch the body, do a few little prehab rehab exercises and get the body ready to handle just a steady run and then get after my day. So in order to prepare for an upcoming race, it's kind of you, you look ahead and then you plan backwards. So like for a marathon, it's somewhere between like 12 and 16 week buildup. So we kind of look 16 weeks out, like which mar marathon am I, am I doing? And sometimes I know about that like a year ahead of time, like that's the, the goal. And if we get there, we get there. But from there, 16 weeks, then you back up the training. And, and I mean, I listen to what my coaches tell me, but we, we talk along the way and and figure out the buildup from there. But in order to prepare, it's following that training plan. And each week you just kind of like hone in on, on more of the race plan and see how you're developing in your training. 
So the hardest times in my career ha happened to be like in the buildups to uh, the Olympic trials. And I think both times in 2016 and 2020, you know, there's a lot online, there's a lot at stake and you, you really, really want it. And you know, the biggest goal for me was to try to make an Olympic team. And um, in both situations, I was a little banged up. Um, 2016 was probably harder in a way because I was pool bound for the last seven weeks going into the race. So, and I didn't have like my typical routine with my, you know, physio and body work. It was, I was out at altitude and kind of just trying to get the right, you know, uh, therapy to help me. And, you know, it was my first Olympic trial. So, you know, being kind of banged up and in the pool and not really running was really mentally draining and tough. Um, going into 20, 2020, I had already had that kind of, you know, hiccupy experience. So I was, I was a little bit more knowledgeable and confident in my ability to cross train, but you know, there was even more at stake because it was in the second try and I really wanted to make it and I, I sacrificed a ton to get there. Yeah, so I think Indiba is such a fantastic resource for therapy. Um, I have used it before and I, I, you instantly get this warming sensation and you know it's loosening things up and getting things moving. Um, you get a little bit of a manual experience like physio body work just with the tools working over the area and then it, it, there's different probes that, that work with it but I had a warming sensation that I knew something was going on internally. And I, what I think is amazing about the device is you know, certain other therapies, whether it's massage or physical therapy, like you could kind of mimic certain things at home, you know, like pressure points and, you know, rolling out and, and scraping a little bit. Um, but you can't, you can't hone in on what's going on internally. Um, so this is targeting like your tendons and ligaments and stuff like that, that you can't reach yourself. So I think that is a, such a good thing to have the access to. Um, I think it's an integral part of therapy uh, and your training plan because as athletes, it's all about prehab and rehab and injury prevention. And if I could have used this in my builds up so the 2020 trials or 2016, I think it could have helped me um, maybe prevented an injury that, that happened. And I think in order to make it in this sport, you got to be healthy. And if you could use this in like a weekly routine or, you know, every other week, I think it will just help escalate your athletic ability and help you reach your potential. I, I believe if I had Indiba in my routine, it could have made a difference in just my, my performance in that whole buildup, not just the race, because the race I got injured and that's unfortunate. But if I could have helped myself along the way, I think it could have changed the outcome potentially. Yeah, absolutely. I think body work is so important in this sport and in mostly any sport uh, to maintain your 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 body and to prevent injuries and just loosen things up so you can really reach your potential and 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 hold your truest form. Um, for me, it's I, ideally it's at least once a week that I'm getting some form of body work. So whether it's massage or physical therapy, if if I can, it would be two week two two times a week or even more if needed. Um, so if Indiba was part of my routine, working with some therapist, if it was incorporated once or twice a week, I think that would just be like ideal. Access to Indiba and using it as part of your routine is a benefit, period. Um, it's science-based, so it's working on things that you're, you don't have access to just by yourself. And for me, it's, it's the speeding of recovery. So, you know, doing a hard session, if you have something like this, it'll just help escalate things moving and flow in your body and help speed the recovery. And that's how you make it in the sport, because if you could recover faster, that means you could get after it the next day or two days later and go after it as hard as you did or even harder. And, and that's how, you know, you become better than somebody else, your opponent. So recovery is everything and speeding up the recovery and just making gains and treating your body right is how you're going to reach your potential. I think having a good relationship with your therapist is everything as well if you're open and they could see things that you don't necessarily see. So with Indiba, it's not just targeting the injury area. It could be targeting somewhere that is the root cause of it. You know, sometimes something that's hurting in your foot is really stemming from your back. And I think using a device like this, it could open up things that you don't even know are bothering you. And having the therapist with the machine is like such a great pair. And it's a dynamic relationship with everybody. And you have to have people that are looking out for you to make it. And this device 
this is just something to add to that pile of, of you know, help.